Hey everybody, welcome back to the next part in my Dialing In series. Now, from the title of this, you might be wondering if I've maybe completely lost my mind. I am talking about dialing in the Line 6 Helix tuner. Now, the tuner has been a topic of many discussions over the years, and in recent updates, the uh, folks from Line 6 have improved the tuner dramatically. One of my favorite features was the addition a while back of the strobe feature, the strobe tuner feature. Now, a side note, one of my favorite companies out there, I have no affiliation with them, but I've used their gear for ages, which is this company right here who makes this little guy, and it's kind of all tied into my system right now. This is the Peterson Strobo Stomp HD from the fine folks over at Peterson. Uh, world renowned for making probably the best tuners uh, available today. They also make other great products too. I recently got this little Peterson Body Beat metronome really fabulous little item if you're looking for a metronome i mean it's really hard to beat probably one of the better ones out there but peterson is known for their insanely accurate tuners but along with that they also have something they call sweeteners in their tuners which we're going to talk about in a moment so in this video i want to show you some features that maybe some folks weren't aware of that were in the helix tuner. Um, I'm going to be using Helix native for this because I don't have my Helix up, hooked up right now, but I also thought it would be a lot easier to have it up on screen for everybody to see, but all the same features are going to apply to the Helix itself also. So first of all, if we go over to HX Edit, you'll notice that I have my Matchless Ultimate preset up from the Line 6 Marketplace. I love this preset. I use it all the time on sessions. And I pulled up the tuner. Now, if you'll notice with the tuner, we have reference pitch here we can set up or down. Uh, concert pitch is known as being 440, A equals 440 hertz. So we're gonna leave it there for now, but you could adjust that if you needed to. We have different styles of tuners. We have the coarse tuner, which when I hit a note, will show me where I'm tuned to. We have the fine tuner, which is going to give us another readout up top to tell us if we're sort of close and in the ballpark. And we have the strobe tuner. Now, because I've used the Peterson tuners for so long and they make strobe tuners, I really find myself at home here as you simply hit the string and try to get it so that those bars are no longer moving. Now, these are highly accurate tuners. So the Peterson tuners are accurate to within, I believe, 0.1 of a cent. So extremely accurate. So if you get this even to the point where it's just barely moving, you are really, really, really close to being in tune, if not perfectly in tune. So that's what we're dealing with as far as that goes. Now, as far as some tips and tricks here, I think a lot of times some folks have trouble with tuners of all sorts because they just don't use the proper technique. And you might say, well, technique for using a tuner? Well, a couple things I always try to do. Number one is when I'm tuning one particular string, I will hit that string while muting all of the other strings. Now, when I'm muting, I have a few things to think about. If I go lay one finger across the 12th fret perfectly and hit this note, I may, you know, excite some harmonics at the 12th fret. So what I do is I just kind of use multiple fingers, possibly on this hand, to block notes out. Now, if I was to do that, I block those notes out and I hit my low E string, you'll see that I have the low E come up and it's not going to be interfered with by other notes ringing out. Now, one way I do that a lot of times is I'll even take my fingers here and hook them in all on different strings. If I'm hitting the E string, I will hit the E and then I'll do a rest stroke down to the A string. Now, no other strings can be ringing out. When I go to the A string, I'll use the heel of my thumb to block the E string out, still have those fingers hooked in hit the A string and then slide the heel of my thumb down just muting all those strings out and using my other fingers up here hooked in in this little claw formation and as I move down I'll do this type of a thing. So all the strings are always muted out. I find that's a really good way to do it. Now working with strobe tuners one thing you're going to notice is we don't want to hit the string too hard. You'll notice on the screen if I do the first initial reaction is for that strobe just to go all over the place. So we can hit exceptionally quiet so we don't knock the string kind of into this weird out of tune cycle uh, where if I hit it very quietly with the edge of my thumb, watch, the tuner picks it up. I hardly hit the string. Very, very quietly. And the other thing is we don't have to keep hitting it. 
When we hit it, we can hit it. Look at how long that's going to stay and register on the screen, even with the very subtle way that I hit it. It's up there for 10, 15 seconds. Finally, it did a little jump, but it's still reading it. Because I'm muting all the other strings out, look how long it takes for it to finally fade away. So we don't need to keep hitting it. We should actually hit it, wait two or three seconds before we start to tune, just so that note kind of stabilizes. Then we can tune and make these little subtle adjustments. So those are some of the tips and tricks that I use. Now, back to the Peterson tuners. They include something in their tuners called sweeteners, and they have a guitar-specific sweetener. And what these sweeteners are is a specific way to offset each string by a certain number of cents or fractions of a cent to make that particular instrument, in this case the guitar, just kind of be more, well, like they call it, sweetened and more in tune with itself. So it's an interesting concept. I've read, you know, pros and cons from people. Some people don't like it, some people do. And that's the beauty of the way we live is we can make our own choices and live with those choices. We don't have to always tell others that they must do it this way. And I really always try to do that. So I'm not throwing this out there saying you should tune like this, but I'm gonna give you an example right now of the difference between the sound of the sweetened Peterson tuning versus the standard sort of equal temperament tuning that the Helix would use when with, set with the offsets off because we do have the ability to use these and program these offsets in the Helix tuner. Take a listen to this and I'll show you what on screen is going on. So there you have it. You heard the difference between similar chords of the sweetened tuning and just the normal offsets off, I guess it would be equal temperament tuning that the Helix would normally be tuning to. Did you hear a difference? There's gonna be some folks that maybe don't have really sensitive ears to subtle degrees in tuning. And these are subtle. Uh, maybe they didn't notice a difference and this doesn't mean anything to them. But for those who are a little more sensitive to it, they may have heard that there was a difference there. I tried to play very consistent, soft, with very equal uh, string pressure and good intonation when I was playing those. So hopefully you heard a difference. But if you are interested in something like that, wouldn't it be nice if we could program something very close or similar to the Peterson guitar sweetener inside the Helix and we can do just that. So if we come over to our offsets function, what you're gonna notice here is if I tune with the offsets off. You'll notice that my E is flat, so I've got to bring that up until those bars essentially stop moving. Very close there. I'm going to go to my A. I'm going to bring that up. Very close there. I'm going to go to my D. Let's run through those again. And there we have it, tuned with no offsets, just to this equal temperament tuning. Now what happens with the offsets? If I come in here and turn the offsets on, I've already programmed some offsets in there. Let's go to string six. I have it set to minus two, so that's minus two cents. So what we should see now is when I hit this, I should be somewhere in the ballpark of being two cents off of the, what I just tuned to. And you'll see when it kind of settles, it jumps around a lot, but it is just about two cents flat now. The A note, fifth string, is approximately one cent flat. And these are the settings I have. Now you might ask why I have these settings. Well, what I did is I ran my Peterson tuner through this on the guitar sweetener setting, and I got it so that, as close as I could, the tuner on the Peterson is accurate to 0.1 of a cent. 
Unfortunately, our offsets are only in one cent increments on the Helix. So we can't maybe get it quite as accurate as the Peterson guitar sweetener, but I did get it so close that I don't think anybody's going to really be able to tell unless you have some golden ears that, uh, and then some folks I'm sure do, even you know much better than myself, I'm sure. But what I found is that if I then put these offsets in, string six, our E string to minus two, string five to minus one, string four to minus one, string three to minus one, string two to minus three, and string one to minus three, I had the helix strobe tuner almost perfectly identical, or at least as much as I could tell visually with the meters on both, to having precisely the same tuning. So it seems like with these offsets, minus two on the sixth string, minus one on the fifth string, minus one on the fourth string, minus one on the third string, minus three on the second string, and minus three on the first string, that we're exceptionally close to the guitar sweetener tuning on the Peterson. Now, that's essentially what you heard in the example I gave you before. Equal temperament, offsets turned off on the Helix, and then you heard the Peterson sweetened tuner. So now, if I was to take these offsets and tune back up, We would now have something exceptionally close to the Peterson Sweeten tuning. And to my ear, that sounds just a little bit better all over the guitar. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I've seen a lot of folks through all my years of teaching, you know, they'll say, my guitar's out of tune and they're doing something like, you know, and they're just bending or they're pressing really hard on a string. And you'll notice even if I'm down on my sixth string, say fifth fret on my A note, and I play that note as such, and press too hard, what happens? Right? We go sharp, so, and you'll notice on the tuner, it goes really sharp. So even excess finger pressure is going to throw our tuning out. So if we're playing a chord, and apply too much finger pressure, it's gonna go out of tune. Very light touch. I find that that sweetened tuning really does work. So there's a few tips and tricks that I thought I would share with you. And I thought that was kind of a cool thing. So again, if we want that sweetener, string six E, we go to minus two, string five A to minus one, string four D to minus one, string three G to minus one, string two B to minus and string one E to also to minus three, and that's going to get us extremely close to the Peterson guitar sweetened tuning. And I hope some of those tricks help you to be able to utilize your tuner that's built into your Helix a little bit better. But if you really don't want to use the tuner in your Helix or have a need for an outboard tuner, I can't recommend the fine folks at Peterson enough uh, and, and look into one of their tuners. I also have their Strobo clip that I absolutely love. Bought this years ago. Just picked this Strobo Tomp, Stomp HD up last week from one of the local stores here because I just been wanting to grab one for a while. Just great to have. I love it having it in the studio, but the Strobo clip is amazing relatively inexpensive, really, really great, great tuner, really good quality stuff. And I can't say enough good things about those guys. So I hope that was helpful. I hope it was interesting. Uh, I know the a video about dialing in a tuner doesn't seem like the most uh, interesting thing to have to sit through, but I hope that that was enlightening to some degree and helps folks maybe use their tuners on their Helix a little bit better. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get use out of it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Ciao for now.